Hello everyone. You know me. This is Connie Miller, New Heart Living, and I decided I was going to bring my husband in today on a video to give you guys some encouragement. Um, we are camping this weekend. We're in our little camper and for the holiday weekend, and I've had something that's really been on my heart. Um, I thought we would uh, discuss a little bit, mm -hmm. and I've had my husband talking with me about it, and um, I hope this encourages you and helps you think a little bit. So this word experience. Why are we so afraid to trust our experience? Huh. I see a lot of people, well, is that in the word of God? Mm -hmm. If it's not, you can't trust it. And you can help me out here because I find, yes, the word of God is very important. It is scripture. It is God inspired. We know this, mm -hmm. right? But God says things to us that you won't find in the Bible. Right. Right. I have a lot of... He's just, got a lot to um, say. But <laughs> my head was just flooding is, with information. It's kind of funny because as you was talking about just that word experience, it was just like an instant instant flood that came yeah. into me. But but you and I are... Com we came camping and, and we do this. We should do it more often because it ends up being a wonderful... Right. Even though it's cold outside or whatever. And, and what I was thinking about is experience one of the things that's really cool about our camping excursions is just you and i and what do we do experience each other it's relational yeah and we grow even we've been married for almost 14 years now but each time we come to this it's just me and you experiencing experiencing each other and with that we end up growing and understanding each other more and more and so it's not a bad thing, is what I'm saying, to just experience each other. But whenever we flip it over to our spiritual life, when we say, oh, well, you just got to trust it. When you, your experiences are teaching God, everybody kind of says, oh, wait a minute. Isn't that something? Well, I, I have a question to ask you, uh, or just to make a statement, is the Bible wasn't always there. Right. So how did people... Know God and, you know, all that. Mm -hmm. Experience. They experienced him. Mm -hmm. He spoke. Um, God, God made everything to be relational. That's right. Everything. And it's, so, yes, we need to have the head knowledge, right? And we need to know, well, it says this, it says that, whatever. But I think, why are we so afraid to trust our experiences? Right. Not only with God, but sometimes with people. Now, I get it. I know that our perceptions can be skewed. Right. Because of this sin-fallen world we live in, right? We know this, but this is not what we're... You know, but how does God teach us? Through experience. I know in my life, I can think back to a little girl, and I didn't know anything about the Bible, and I know certain thoughts that were in my head, things I would think, and I know it was God. Mm -hmm. I know. I look back now... And I know it was God. So the Holy Spirit is able to talk to us and say anything to us and teach. And there is truth everywhere. That's right. It's not just in the Bible. Mm -hmm. There is truth everywhere that you can, that God can give us. Right. That's right. All the time. Um. You help me out. It's it just, it just. I think we just get so legalistic and dogmatic about. Well, do you have a scripture to back that up? Uh, no, I have an actual experience. <laughs> right. And, and that's what I was getting ready to say. One of the things is talking about a personal experience back many years ago, like 20 years ago for you, you know, that, that you used to write, oh, you still do. I mean, that's what all the download series is all about is, uh, is you, well, use, you write you know, hey, God, this is how I'm feeling. And then what happened? Well, I was always journaling to God. And I said, God, I got it because I have to get out of my head. This is me. Mm -hmm. I just say, you know, you are designed differently. But praying in my head is difficult sometimes. Right. When I write it out, oh, it's just, it just feels so much better because he made me to be a writer. Right. But so one day I just sat down and I just started writing like it was from God. Right. And I just poured out whatever it was. And he signed it, your daddy, God. And when I read it back to myself, even though it was my hand, 
I knew it was him because it was, I started crying and it was like that I experienced God in a way it was real to me. It was right. so tangible. I can read scripture all day long mm -hmm. and not experience God in the way that I have just in my day to day. That's right. Um, and I'm not saying, don't, don't put words in my mouth, not saying scripture is not important to know what the word says, but it's all to lead us to the living God. Right. And, and experience. And yes. And to experience him. And if you look back and, and you say, well, can you back what we're saying up in scripture? Absolutely. You can look at David. David was one of those guys in the Psalms. He would say, woe is me. And then God, God would turn around and say, give him an answer of an encouragement over and over again. Elijah. Uh, well, how did he teach all of, all of them through experience? Right. Look at Paul. We're we talking about Paul. Right. Paul knew intellectually. He knew right and wrong. That's he right. he knew the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. That's okay. Right. Mm -hmm. But then when he had an actual experience and encounter with God on that road to Damascus, it changed everything. That's it. Um, you were going to go with that because he spent and then the Holy Spirit literally for three days, right? Absolutely. Minister experienced. It's an experience. Until he went to the prophet and he laid hands. Then what happened? As God was, I mean, Paul was experiencing God in that time. Then he went and then the prophet laid hands on him and the scales fell off of him. Then after that, he went out. And I was thinking about that. He went out for quite some time, just him as he learned. And it I would just had a picture of that time whenever he was in his solitude and God was teaching him and, and literally that I could just almost picture that as he's sitting there and he's all by himself and God mm -hmm. or Jesus coming and setting up, setting beside him and they not literally as in two people sitting back together, but it really was in a spiritual sense as Jesus was just having a conversation with him and teaching him about his love, his grace, and his mercy. How God, Paul, through that, Paul was radically changed. He came from Saul the hater to Paul the lover through what? Experience. Not because he had this big text scripture that said this, this, and this. No, it's because Jesus literally taught him. And Paul ended up being the great apostle of grace. That was all he taught. So. Yeah, I mean, I just think we've been so trained that if it's we can't find it in, in Scripture, then it can't be truth. Right. And I think that's where we're very wrong. Mm -hmm. And I think we learn a lot. You know, I think we're more perceptive to things than we give ourselves credit for. Absolutely. I mean, to what God is saying. When are we, why are we not teaching people to trust the Holy Spirit in them to speak to them? Right. And I know it, you know, when, when you experience something with God, then it becomes real. That's it. I mean, mm -hmm. for me, until I have that experience, it's, it's really just knowledge and that's it. That's it. Because it's just stuff that people told you, but once you experience it personally, then it radically transforms and you. And that's what I was going to bring up is that, cause I, all, you know, all my Christian life. I've been told God is one way, this mm -hmm. way, you know, and the religious God, right? The um, basically bipolar God, mm -hmm. happy one moment with you, depending on what you're doing and not happy the next because of what you're doing or not doing, you know, and, um, and the God that people told me about, then when God started writing to me, I started experiencing a different God. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. What you're writing to me is not matching what I've been told, what others have been told, right? Um, and so his voice was so different than what everybody told me his voice sounded like. Mm -hmm. I had to learn what his voice sounded like. I had to experience it. That's it. And for me, it was him giving me downloads through writing. That's it. You may be different, but it's going to be you and God's 
personal relational experience. And, and, and talking about experience, I can, and I've shared with you, I have literally experienced where it, it was like God gave me an audible me. voice. And it blew me away because I knew that I knew what I was hearing. It was like it was in the room with me. And the audible voice that was giving me encouragement in more than one time. And so each one of us is going to experience it in a different way. It might be that you're you're driving down the road and you and you are walking down the road or whatever it is and impressions. He gives impressions yes, or yes. It's experience. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying like it's again, yes, we we it's important to know scripture. Right. You know, the Bible. But the Bible was put together, inspired by God, but through man. There, there, are, there, there are many books, right? Mm -hmm. And their experiences, right? And we talk about this a lot, about um, ever-increasing, um, that there's nothing more to know about God, right? Because right. it's all there. I don't believe that. Mm -hmm. I believe God is continually revealing new things to his people. Yeah, right. it's progressive. I guess that's the right word. And I know we don't, but it's not a bad thing. Mm -mm. We've talked yeah. about this yeah, a and, little bit. Um, and that's, that reminded me of something where we, we, we want to put God in this little box. And the scripture talks about in a Timothy about how we're always searching knowledge, but we've never come gaining to knowledge, gaining knowledge. Right. But we've never come to the true understanding of it, the truth. Which is him. Which is him, which only comes through experience. experience. And so he's long, He's giving us, he really is, through our relationships, everything in this tangible life, he's giving us experiences to reveal something about himself. Right. I mean, we can learn about him through our personal relationships. Right. Like I said, I know we have... A carnal mindset and a way to think. We right. can think according to the wisdom of this world. But he's always there trying to, okay, in this midst of all this, what you're experiencing with this person, that person, or in this circumstance, let me give you an experience with me that I'm going to show you some truth here. You know, right. I think he's really speaking all the time, but we just kind of throw it off. Right, yeah, um, and think well, that you know, I was actually thinking it's just a silly thought that comes to my brain sometimes, and she'll tell you I have strange thoughts, but but I was just thinking <laughs> of <laughs> I was just thinking about this, you know, when my kids were growing up, I would uh cook something and and I would put it in front of the kids and they'd turn their nose up and I'll say, It's good, try it, and they didn't believe. The knowledge that I have towards saying, no, this is really good. They'd look at it and say, oh, this looks I've experienced, weird. you experienced the food. Right. Right? Right. And and, and, and they're <laughs> like, no, nah, we're not trying it. I said, trust me, just take a bite. And once they take a bite, which is experience, then they're like, oh, this is really good. <laughs> and I think that's the thing that we don't understand whenever it comes to Jesus. We tell people, oh, he's good, but no one's really experience the goodness because even his good is that, that we express is not as good as he really is. But then again, how do people taste him? Yeah. How do people experience him? There you go. Often through other people. Mm -hmm. That's experience. Mm -hmm. There are people that don't have a Bible, never had a Bible. Right. And can know Jesus. That's it. I know that's hard for us in our Western world to understand, but don't get so dogmatic in things that, you know, well, this is, this is just it, you know, that's it, mm -hmm. you know, and I guess that's just what's been on my heart. I just see it a lot. Um, you know, grace is God's divine influence upon the heart. That's it. It's his empowering presence. His grace is, he is in us as believers he's all around us he's able to speak anything and give anyone an experience and they won't even may not even know a single scripture that's it but they know 
because they experienced. So don't be afraid to trust your experiences with him. I know that not every experience and our perceptions of that is correct. Right. But trust, he is there. He will help us correct the perceptions. That's it. And, and allow him to and just... But we got to trust that. That's trust it. him to do that. Right. And I think that that's exciting whenever you start moving and just seeing God move in that situation. You're like... And then the next thing you know, it's like, wow, that really was God. And then... What's really cool is whenever you have that kind of experience and you find out, like, you had the same experience? Yeah. And, and like, Connie and I, I don't write like she does. I mean, I write, but not like she does. But she'll say, share something that God spoke to her, and it just comes out, and it's just like, yeah, that's the way I feel. And that's what I'm saying. That it, you know, you're going to find... That if you allow yourself to experience him in that way, it's going to, it's going to, what's the word I want to do? It's going to fit with what everybody else's experience. Well, not everybody. That's not the word I was looking for. You're going to see that. Wow. It's going to transform you. Yes. You're not going to be so rigid and legalistic. There you go. It's going to take that legalism away. Mm -hmm. We got to get rid of this legalism. That everything, if it's not in scripture, it can't be God. Mm -hmm. It can't be the truth. That's just really what I want to say today. Mm -hmm. God's truth is all around us. He is the truth. He's everywhere. And he is able to show us anything he needs to show us or tell us through an experience. That's what he wants to do because it's all about relationship. When God created man, he gave animals one of every of their kind. He wanted someone of his kind. Mm-hmm like him that could share in the family experience between the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That is amazing. That's why he created us. It's about family. He wanted a family to share their life with. That's it. And so every time we take the relational aspect out of God, we're going to get a skewed picture of him and miss the experiences. Now, see, that's preaching right now, there. See, that's, that stirs a passion in that's, me. That's preaching. So let's get rid of our dogmatic doctrine that is just killing our experiences. Yeah. And again, you, like you said, you're not saying the word isn't important, but the experience is just like, you can't, you he can't. He is the word yeah, in us. You can't know God without the experience. That's just that simple. Then it's real. Then you know that you know that you know. That's it. When you experience him. And that's good preaching there. Yes. So was, yeah, I think, I think I don't have anything more to say. I can't add anything better to that. That's good. <laughs> So we hope you have a great weekend. Finish the rest of your holiday weekend if you're off, but we just wanted to do this. So I hope this gives you some encouragement. Learn to trust some of your experiences with and, God and, and that he could be giving you real experiences. Right. And I'm going to tell you to be looking because before this weekend's out, we'll probably do another one. Might be a live video too. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> Watch out. Look for us, okay? All right. Y'all have you. a great weekend. God bless you.